We are now looking at the calibration panel in Lightroom. This will be the final tab that we look at in part one of my Lightroom tutorial series. If you've made it this far, congratulations. In part two, we will be looking at cropping, removing some unwanted objects, and a whole lot of masking. It's where editing will really take a serious turn and you can really do a great deal to improve your photos. But for now, let's dive into this calibration tab. So calibration is generally used to correct colors that aren't quite what you remember seeing with your mind's eye that your camera might have got off a little bit or that Lightroom might have read a little wrong from your camera's profile. So here we have a shadows, red primary, green primary, and blue primary. In the shadows, we have a tent slider where we can push greens or magentas into our shadows. We can correct hue in the red primary, bring it more magenta or more orange, increase or decrease saturation. Green, we can take it towards yellow or blue. Also increase or decrease saturation. And blue primary, we can take towards green or towards purple. And it has a saturation slider as well. So let's take a look at our image here. And I seem to remember the reds or a little more to the red and a little more saturated. And my greens to me look to have a little too much yellow in them. I'm gonna take them to the right and they're oversaturated and they have a little too much blue. So we'll drop our blue primary as well. And that to me is a more calibrated image as to what I remember taking. Turn the effect on and off. I've reset all the sliders now and we're going to look at something else that is often done with the calibration tool and that is to do just some artistic color grading. So let's take our shadows, push a little magenta into them, take our red, bump it up, increase the saturation, and we want to take our greens saturate them some more and pump more blue into the channel, but desaturate the blue a little bit. So we have a totally different style edit here, done here within the calibration tool where we've just tweaked some colors and pumped some magentas into our shadows. It's often worth it to come down here to the calibration tool as the last step in your editing and just tweak the colors a little bit and see what you can come up with.